So, in the last three versions of Adobe Camera Raw, have you tried to save a profile and gotten this error message? It's extremely frustrating because I'm probably like you in that when I do something in Photoshop that is not pixel based and is adjustment layer based, and I wanna maybe make that into a LUT so that I can use that as a profile at my raw workflow, as you see that I make many products like this as well, you get this error message when you try to save this in Adobe Camera Raw. But here's the problem. You can't make a profile in Lightroom. So what do we do? Do we just sit here and wait for Adobe to fix this? Well, no. So there's two versions of Adobe Camera Raw, actually, and many people don't know this. There's Adobe Camera Raw, the program that opens up a raw file. Basically, it's your digital darkroom that allows you to take a raw file and bring it into Photoshop. And then there's Adobe Camera Raw, the filter where they've essentially scraped all of the editing tools from Adobe Camera Raw and turned it into a filter that can be used in Photoshop. They are not the same program. They are not the same thing. They look similar, but they're not. I've done a video on this in the past. I'll put that at the end of this so that you can see that. So how do we make a profile if we can't use Adobe Camera Raw the program to do that. Well, here's the trick. So this is an image that I've been working on here and I'm trying to do this kind of like faux fall color look for these trees in the foreground here. It was taken in May, but I kind of want that uh, amberish color in the leaves there. So I get some separation between green and blue to make this a more interesting image. So I would like to use this as a profile in Adobe Camera Raw. Because this is an adjustment layer, it has no pixels ad adjusted in it at all whatsoever. You would see that if I made a mask on here and brushed on here, we wouldn't be able to save this as a LUT and use it successfully. So because this is an adjustment layer and there's no pixels in here whatsoever, I can go to File, I can go to Export, and I can go to Color Lookup Tables. Now I'm going to call this Faux Fall Color, and I'm going to set this to 32 grid points and a cube file. And I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to save it right into the folder that I have here for this example image so that it's easier to find when I am going to go in and make the profile. So fall, faux, fall, color. OK. So it goes through the process of making a lookup table for me. And this lookup table can actually be used inside of Photoshop as well. If you were to go to uh, color lookup tables and then search for this color lookup table, that's how you make color lookup tables. So the way we would save this as a profile so we can use it on raw images and not within Photoshop is go to filter and then camera raw filter. Okay. This is the workaround because the only way you can make a profile is in Adobe camera raw, but Adobe camera raw, the program is not working right now to make that. So we go over here to our presets. We press alt or option and hold that. And then we click on the create preset button. So here I'm going to call this faux fall color. So when I click this little checkbox, it's going to prompt me to load this. I have it in the example image folder there. So I already see it here. You could save it as your desktop if that's easier for you. And I'll double click that. Now I usually set this to Adobe RGB because that's the color space that I work in 50 as my minimum and 150 as my maximum. So that you can't take this slider too far. Okay. And then we'll press, okay. It's going to save it into my user profiles. So I'll press okay. Now, once I hop over here, and go over into my profile section here in the user profiles, you will see the faux fall color now is there. Now this is not a raw file. Okay. Th this isn't a raw file. This is actually Adobe camera raw, the, the filter being used within Photoshop. So I'm going to cancel this and now I'm going to double click and open up my raw file to show you that because I did this in Adobe camera, raw the filter, it is still going to be in here in my profiles. So I'll click on browse profiles. I'm going to minimize this, go into my user profiles, and then down here we see faux fall color. Now, if I go back, we can then use this slider to increase that and actually make it a little bit stronger. And now as I edit this image at the raw level, I will make sure that this LUT profile stays on top of the entire editing process. So as I increase or decrease color here, uh, no matter where I do that, it's going to help make that color look more robust like fall foliage. Now I'm not really going to share this profile with you because it's not predictable what it's going to do on all foliage based images. It happens to work very well on this image. So if I was editing a set of these images, I could use this profile for that entire set of images to keep everything streamlined. And that's why I like profiles. And that's why it really disturbs me that Adobe still has not fixed this error message. So if you're getting that error message, when you try to save a profile, 
the quick and dirty is don't use Adobe Camera Raw, the program, meaning don't open up a raw file and try to make a profile. Go into Photoshop, then go to Adobe Camera Raw, the filter, and try to save the profile there in the preset section from within Adobe Camera Raw, the filter. And then it will show up in both Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom so that you can use that profile. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. I like to take difficult things in Photoshop and sometimes workarounds like this and make them seemingly simple so that you can use them in your workflow today.